Living jazz, musings on living life as a jazz musician. So, during this time of sheltering in, my imagination has been going to some weird places. I was just thinking, what if there was a jazz trivia TV game show during this COVID season? What would that be like? Hey y'all, welcome to our Jazz Trib Show, where we ask our contestants, quarantined in their various abodes, questions having to do with jazz and jazz musicians. See if they're real jazz musicians or if they just bullshit. Hey, hey! What did he just say? On the right, we got Lance Bryant, saxophonist. Where you from, Lance? I'm in Cedar Grove, New Jersey, where I live with my wife and daughter. And we have a son too, but he's in Massachusetts. Actually, my daughter That's is great, also bud. Good. And on our left, we got Bitter Bryant. How did you get that name, Bitter? Honestly, I tell you, I don't know when or why people started calling me that. People in this world have no respect. That's why this world is going to hell in a hand. I ain't asked you that. I ain't asked you all that and ain't got time for no tangences from you neither, so you remember that. Each correct answer gets you 10 points. You will be asked questions from three categories. The categories is jazz history, quotable quotes, and contemporary cats. The first one to slam his hand down on the desk gets the answer first. Is you ready? Go. Yes, sir. First question from the quotable quotes category. Who is a musician that would poetically utter the two words, no eyes, when referring to something he didn't care for? Ooh, that would be Prez, Lester Young. You got it, 10 points go to Lance. Next question from the jazz history category. Who was the earliest musician to be widely considered the connection between blues, gospel, and jazz? Oh, uh, uh, that would be, uh, uh, I, I know this, um, Thomas A. Dorsey. Another 10 points go to the man in the hat. Hey, look here. Y'all should have kept that gospel connection as far as I'm concerned. You know that song? The presence of the Lord is here. Mm -hmm. The presence of the Lord is here. Mm -hmm. I feel it in the atmosphere. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> what the hell are you doing? Just trying to get my praise on. You know, gospel music is not like it used to be. Young people these days have lost the blues tradition. Whatever, man. Let's move on. What you know about it anyway? I know my God is a good God. Whew, felt a little quickening in my soul. Next question. He's mean. Rude and obnoxious is what he is. Shh, he'll hear you. I had the mute on. From the category Contemporary Cats. In 1999, what saxophonist became the Mardi Gras Big Chief of Congo Square? following in his father's footsteps. Yeah, yeah, okay, wait, wait, uh, uh, that would be, um, uh, oh, of course. The answer is Donald Harrison. I went to school with him. I ain't asked you all that. Hey, my finger was up for 15 minutes. Look, I done told you how to play this here game. Ain't my fault if you hard-headed. I am not stomping my hand down. What am I, a horse? That's just vulgar. Oh, I see. We got one of them sedated niggas. Okay, Pardon okay. Me. Can we get back to the game, please? Next question. In the category, quotable quotes. What saxophonist famously quoted a melody from Strauss's Blue Danube? You know, <clears throat> Ba, ba, da, ba, da, 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 ba, da, 
Ba-da. Yeah, yeah, that one. In his solo on Perdido at Massey Hall, 1953. Oh, look at him. <laughs> the answer is Charlie Parker. From the category Contemporary Cats, what trumpet player was invited by Miles Davis himself to join him on stage at the 1991 Montreux Jazz Festival? Wallace Roney. Once again, that is correct. Final question from category Jazz History. Referring to the Herbie Hancock reunion band in 1976, what do the letters V-S-O-P stand for? Uh, yeah, that would be, uh, um, V, uh, hold on, hold on. Bitter. It refers to the special V-S-O-P blend of cognac. Mm-hmm. Spoken like a true drunk. Wrong. It stands for very special one-time performance. What? I challenge that. Ain't no challenging. What kind of game you think this is? Are you kidding me? So that means I won. Oh my God, I never win anything. So what do I win? You win a deluxe pasta dinner at your next gig. You mean to tell me I put up with this foolishness for nothing? What you calling foolish? What else you had to do all day? This whole thing is just some bullshit. So this was all pointless. Pointless? I'll show you pointless. Man, I ain't got time for your attitude. You are out of line, oh, my so friend. Jazz music this game sucks. You better carry your ass Scott out of here. I take umbrage with your remarks, sir. Umbrage? What the hell is that? I got your umbrage. I don't know when this next game's gonna be, but oh, I'm gonna get my deluxe pasta dinner. Let me go wash my hands. 